Well, finally, this half hour, another perspective on the tragic loss being felt all over Western New York tonight. Firefighters across America face this type of danger every single day. And in 1992, Congress created the nonprofit National Fallen Firefighters Foundation. It's to lead a nationwide effort to honor America's fallen firefighters and provide resources to assist their families. We're pleased today to say joining us live now is Ron Sarnicki. He is the executive director of the foundation, also a former fire chief, still an active volunteer firefighter, now 50 years on the job. Sir, thanks for your, your service and thanks for your time joining us tonight. Uh, I know this is a story that you and your foundation tragically are very familiar with. Uh, first, let me just start with uh, what words you would share with the Buffalo community and our local firefighters right now. As, as you said, this is a tragic event that the loss of a firefighter and first and foremost, the National Fallen Firefighters Foundation offers its sympathies to the family to the department and to the community for the loss of one of their own. And most importantly to know is that one of the efforts the National Fallen Firefighters Foundation puts forward is to be there to assist all three of those, the family, the department, and the community in any way possible with whatever programs and services we have available to help the families move on, to help the departments to deal with, and most of all, the community to, to suffer this grief and loss. How does your foundation assist the families of fallen firefighters? I, I was un, unaware of, of how this exactly works. What are the, the first steps and the, the resources that are available here? The very first step is in each state throughout the nation, we have a response team called the Local Assistance State Team last. And they're actually en route uh, on, uh, on their way up there to assist uh, with a variety of activities. Of course, the first is to provide support to the families. Uh, I, the chaplain is right on key with his efforts and that notification in the long-term care and support dealing with that grief. To assist the department if needed with funeral arrangements and other activities. And, and then to help the department and the community move forward. Uh, our efforts are there to help, help and assist if needed. Uh, we, we unfortunately do this over 100 times a year across the country. And that was why we were created by Congress to provide that support, emotional assistance, and programming to put things in perspective as best as possible in this very tragic time. Yeah, and that number you just shared with us adds some important perspective and, and some context. 100 different times a year on average um, that, that we lose a firefighter. I think it speaks to the, the danger that goes along with this job and, and how fortunate we are as a people to have firefighters on the clock all the time. Uh, you, you are correct. And I did have a chance to see some of the video footage that's out there. Uh, as, I've, as, as was said, I've, I've been in the fire industry for 50 years. Uh, that uh, that situation was just uh, so devastating. And, and But most importantly, that was why Congress created us, to be there to help and assist. We'll be working with the uh, International Association of Firefighters, with the department in any way that is needed. Uh, we do run the National Memorial Program, where it's a, a service each year, where the names of our nation's fallen firefighters are added to the monument that's in Emmitsburg, Maryland. And then we'll be there long term for the families uh, through programs and activities that help them deal with the grief and, and to figure what is the best way for them to continue their, their moving forward without their loved one being a part of their, their family unit. And finally, sir, I've only got about 30 seconds left, but you were mentioning the, the support, obviously, first and foremost for the, the families, but there are a lot of firefighters um, who are mourning their colleagues tonight and, and remembering them as well, right? You're absolutely right. And, and there are a variety of behavioral health programs programs out there to help them deal with that grief and that loss. And there's a lot of information available at our website, firehero.org. And we're here to help and we'll be here as long as the community the department and the family needs us. Ron Sarnicki is the executive director of the National Fallen Firefighters Foundation. Uh, thanks for your time. And again, thank you for your, your half a century of, of service in, in firefighting. And again, we're so sorry for your loss. Thank you, sir. We appreciate it.